Milo? No. Think of your wife, Nina, and little no, Milos. No, they have nothing to do with this. They will unless you tell me where Lennox is. Oh. Where did you get that? Sit down. Your mission was to take out Valencio, not torture him. What's going on here? Just to answer the questions. So you hit the dockyard based on Valencio's info? Yes. Under what authority? Lieutenant McCarver. She briefed the vision and they greenlit the op. No, they did not. She never went up the chain. What? McCarver has been under investigation for some time now. Your mission ended at the steelworks. You had no authority to execute that operation. We had division dockets that outlined the operation. My former team would go in first and pull the trigger. I was riding shotgun with McCarver and Solomon. Two teams, one area. Lennox was the target. Alright. We're getting pretty close to the end of this game and um this one you know hits a little bit of feels here we're on mission six so let's have some fun i'm gonna put on that pointless ass suppressor whatever now right here um as you notice where my character is moving back that wasn't really me. That was the controller. You know, I'm not even touching the controller or anything, so it's acting up, being retarded, but... You know, I suppose I'll take that over the auto-pause bullshit. I don't know. Whatever kind of thing you'd go with. So I tried to uh, aim for the two guys up there, but I'm aiming for this guy on top just to see if I can get a shot, which I pulled a one-time shot, albeit with the struggle of the... Uh, movement and I managed to pull it off and that was uh, pretty slick stuff um, but yeah it went pretty well with me so I was gonna try and aim for another one but I was like yeah not a chance you know. I'll take whatever I get for a one-timer I suppose um but yeah you know the whole Covert action just doesn't sit well with me, nor does it sit well with the game, because it just doesn't add up anything, so it was like, eh, I don't see the whole point, you know, the whole game is mainly made to be a uh, chaotic, uh, hectic, frantic paced action kind of thing. So I was going to go sneak up on this guy, but, you know, I got compromised, and it was like, oh, that's fun stuff. So I put the suppressor off and just start going to work. And already you can just tell that things are going down in a hand basket. Yeah. So, fun things be happening and crazy shit going on. And watch this. Yeah, check this out. And wow! Yeah, man. Things explode. I just blasted that dude with a shotgun. And of course, I wanted to try and see if I could just hit it right through the loop inside. It didn't work, so I pulled out another one. See where it went. A little bit of shotgun blasting wouldn't hurt, and you know, I don't know. This guy just she <laughs> was just chilling by the rail. It was pretty funny. Yeah. So fun stuff to be had. And of course, then I blast the door open for the fun stuff. Get me some pineapples. Because I love me some pineapples. I want me one. Occasionally, too. Um. But yeah, here in this bit, um, I pretty much get raped. Well, not in this, this part of the mission, but, you know, later on. Um, I just pretty much meet my demise like a dumbass. And here I pull off another uh, shot, I would think. And I did, and I was like, oh, yay, I'm on a fucking roll today. Whee! Yeah, but sadly, that kind of streak tends to end on its own, which is no fun at all. Not on my end, anyway. So, 
Things just go down like crazy. Like Hulk would be smashing everything. And yeah, you know, those commando dudes would be showing up and I don't even know where the hell this guy came from. He just like you know, popped up from behind. Like a magical gopher or something, so it really was just weird. Then I grabbed my first um secondary objective here. This is where I just blast this fool to oblivion. And you just go flying out the window. Like an idiot. Um <clears throat> Yeah, go around the other side and say hello to a few friends. Because, you know, I like the ones that give me a welcoming party and, you know, try and invite me to death. But they pretty much gave themselves the invitation without any lettering. So, yeah, it's the usual fun stuff. So, I'm like, then this guy just, you know, comes charging in, and he, he just met there, and that dramatic-ass oversell, you know, death animation just was so weird. And that, that was a nice yacht, too, and everything just went crazy out there. And that guy just flew off the yacht, I'm like, yeah, both of you guys got expelled from the yacht club service. Um... Uh, I didn't even get what was the whole point of having my allies. They're just going to stand there and do absolutely fuck all. It, it really baffles me to the highest degree of confusion. It just, it really made no sense for me. Damn, glass just be breaking so goddamn much, man. It is beautiful. And that dude, out of nowhere, from that kind of distance, gets wasted. Very intriguing. And of course, there's an RPG dude, and I'm just like, well, shit, he's top priority. I gotta get rid of him. And, you know, he managed just to get a bit of me, but I managed to get rid of him. You know, and there's another objective complete. Yeah, and I shoot him right in the kneecap for the fun measure of it. But yeah. Yeah, a little bit of sniping to be uh, had. Toss a nade. Really funny thing about tossing nades in some games, you know, you cook them for, you know, a little period of time to release. And that was just a beautiful explosion. But in this one, you just straight up toss it. Like, you know, there's no cooking or any of that shit. And this guy, you know, is trying to be smart, but yeah, it didn't work out well on his end. Did a little bit more of sniping and such, and I was just like wondering, I'm like, who the fuck is, you know, trying to kill me from below or something? But yeah. <clears throat> this area here uh, was fun for some sniping. Thankfully, that happened. Um, but yeah, and, you know, out of nowhere, I didn't expect that to happen. Where he just basically, you know, flew from the other side. And I was just like, oh shit. But yeah, and you also notice how much rounds it takes to kill these guys. It's like, god, that's just, that's just fucking annoying. But, um, yeah. You know, things you learn. So. That shit just caught me the fuck off guard. That's my, uh... Notification tone, by the way. And, and this dude's just standing there looking pretty. It was just like, okay, dude, you ain't here for a glamour shot. What notification is this? Let me check. Ooh, sweet. Anyway. Um, yeah, I got me a fancy phone, too. It's pretty badass. Um, and, I don't know, these guys are just sitting there camping like idiots, you know, waiting for me to come after them and then just wipe them the fuck out. Um. Yeah, whatever. And then that, that was just beautiful. I made my... I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I always have a tendency of making entrances appear. Then I grab this complete and utter automatic monster. I mean, you know, the saw. The M249 saw. 
Squad Automatic Weapon. I, pff, I don't think that's a fitting name for a weapon like this. I would call it the fucking... Squad Ass Whooper. I mean, like seriously, or Super Ass Whooper. Because, I mean, this thing is just downright disgusting. I mean, you know, that this 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 thing is like the ultimate DACA gun. <laughs> of all the, you know, guns you play with in this game. Like, I mean, it's like full auto wet dream mode going on here. Um, and, you know, the, the sound it, when it fires is just, it's like orgasm. It's disgusting. Um, it's, it's utterly, you know, so goddamn delicious. <clears throat> I remember that you get this gun in the first mission of the game if you use the cheats. Which, you know, you only use it for that one mission, which kind of sucked, because you being able to use it throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole game would be actually really fun. But, I think that whole situation was rectified once I got usage of the, uh, M4 Grenadier. So, I can't complain, but this thing is just downright disgusting. I mean, toss a pineapple there, and that's that. This guy got fucking wrecked. And here, this is where things get downright insane as fuck. You know, everything... There's a lot of things for some boom room here, so... And, you know... Things begin to get insane as fuck. And, you know... Beware, there's gonna be a lot of explosions, man. Lots of them. And, you know, you get to see one of them right now. And it's... it's pretty sexy. Um... But yeah, I mean, you know, of course I didn't just go charging at them, because I'd be expecting a very quick death. So, you know... You stay put, and these guys were trying to be slick, but... You know, I wasn't having any of it. And this just went on, I was like, damn, man, those, these explosions are so delicious. You know, and I'm just blowing shit up left and right, and I was just like, wow. Everything is just getting destroyed and destroyed and just, mmm. Everything's set ablaze, so. It's lovely, you know, you just raise the whole fucking place and two cars go boom at once, and mm-mm-mm. I know there's gonna be two dudes at the top where the pipelines, which one of them you get to see now, is popping up. Which I used the Grenadier and just blasted that shit, and oh man, it's delicious. Um, but yeah, then of course there's gonna be another dude using this weapon that I'm carrying on the other side, and oh man, that's, that's so delicious, man. And of course, way before he even tried to hit me, I just get him, and I'm, it, and I'm just getting a beautiful view of the battlefield. Of the kill zone here, and I'm just like, oh man, I just, I, I just went into fucking euphoria. And shoddy boy here is just trying to get the hand on me, and I'm like, no, bitch. You know, and shit, I could have used uh, the the that explosive to my advantage, but I didn't, wasn't really planning on it ahead, if anything. Then the dudes with the shields start popping in, and um, I'm just like, nope, you ain't getting me. So, you know, of course, reload, thump uh, method here, which always works, nine times out of ten. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty fucking beautiful. And, you know, for good measure, just blow that fucking drum can up, because why the hell not? I like blowing stuff up. You know me, you know me well enough. And I swear the reticule just turned black at the time. And I'm trying to blow it up, and I'm just like, eh, I don't know why it's not working. So, it's just, I don't know, it was weird. But, um, yeah, I, I was just marveling at, you know, the, the fucking, how the whole battleground just went from being literally, I don't know, packed with stuff, to... A place of carcasses and explosive, you know, stuff, and it's just, it's delicious. 
And uh, here at this bit, I pretty much get my ass whooped and shot to death because I was a complete and utter retard. Didn't even use the uh, Scarface gun that I should have. <laughs> and you know, of course, I blew the thing up like right after I get killed, so it was like a draw. But um, yeah. You know, note to self: use fucking grenade launchers that's attached to your M4A1 because it always comes in handy even when you gotta blow stuff up. You love blowing stuff up, so go blow stuff up and just, oh man, that was beautiful. And um, yeah, of course there's a sniper dude who almost had me, almost had me dead, so I was like, no bitch. And yeah, you gotta make sure that these guys just get flushed the fuck out. Or else you're just gonna get picked off in a slow and utterly convincing fashion that it's just not fun. And this dude's just, you know, standing there in the corner masturbating for whatever fucking reason. And I'm like, hey, you, you stay over there and look pretty, bitch. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, fun times to be had. So, we're pretty much, um, almost through the entire portion of this mission. But, um, yeah. You always gotta learn to be pretty careful as you tread along. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, some squeezing. I'm hearing some DACA going on. I'm just like, god damn, man. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? This is some crazy shit. And, you know, this guy just pretty much blast me off um yeah once again there was a situation where I almost get killed so I was like yeah you ain't getting me this time bitch yeah I'll get you one way or another so that shit happened <laughs> but then, you know, of course, the sniper just pops out, and that's my reminder. Get rid of that shit. And, yeah, I almost, um, there was a moment where I was going to get raped, but I was like, nope, you're not getting me this time. Ugh. Explosions. They make a man so wet. It's, it's just beautiful. Even if it's Michael Bay style, I don't even give a shit. There's two more dudes at these cranes chilling over there, so... You know, I just take advantage of watching things get blown up to bits. There's another sniper guy. And he thinks he could get me, but I'm like, uh-huh, okay. He just, <laughs> you could get fucking dropped to the concrete. So I'm like, all right, move, move, move. You know, and this is kind of one of these real plights where, you know, your health is getting really low, so you gotta really tread carefully and make an opening as quick as possible. And, you know, of course, I'm hearing my fellow teammates getting, you know, getting slaughtered over there. And it's just not fun. And so... Man, we're just pushing through it like I always do. And there goes another explosion. I'm just like, yay, things that make me happy. And then I just noticed a fucking canister right there. I'm just like, oh, okay, and I fucking, you know, chopped off my own health like a dumbass. And that's the last line you'll hear from your... No, I think that's the last line you hear from, uh... Your... Uh, teammates on the other side. So, yeah. I mean, shit just... It, it, this is probably one of the ones that, you know, gets downright ugly to the point because it's like... Once you get to the end, you're just like, damn, we were too late. Even if we tried as fast and as hard as we could, it just didn't work. But, um... 
And of course, this guy here is just trying to be slick, and you know, he blew up a fucking gas canister. I'm just like, no, bitch, this shit don't work. And of course, like a dumbass, I basically, you know, damaged my health again. And I'm just like, there are times I think, I, you know, I'm really praying for my own demise like an idiot because I don't, there are times I just don't think rationally to the most utter point out there. And so I'm just chucking, you know, little nades for days just, you know, hey, you can never be too safe, you know. Um... Man, there's like more dudes just getting downright massacred up in the ass. Um... Yeah, it, it, it was a fucking slaughterhouse up in this bitch. And I get the last two, and that pretty much concludes the massive macho shootout grande. And I'm like, bitch, why don't you go ahead and do it yourself? Because you know, I'm the one who had to, you know, basically go through a whole lot of goddamn shit to make sure that, you know, I get there. Sadly, of course, you know, the end result is, uh, that I lose my men. And this happens. And then, if, you know, fucking dramatic ass music. Oh. It really sucked, you know. So that concludes mission six. Hope you all enjoyed. We're pretty much down to the last two. Um, after that, I'll be concluding uh, kill zone. But yeah, see you in mission seven. Deuces.